Well, hey guys, so this is going to be a pretty much full review of the Anvil Atlas vise, which is this. I uh, did an unboxing a long time ago with this vise uh, when I first got it, which was maybe about a year ago. So overall, I'm going to say this is a great vise. For 100 and I think uh, about $60, $150, uh, you might even be able to find it a little cheaper. I did. I, I found it actually on sale for a pretty good deal. But you can tell this thing is kind of uh, beat up. I've kind of used it quite a bit. So now I have a little more experience in it, um, a little more than, you know, with the unboxing. So I can kind of give you my full idea and point of view on the, the vise. So right off the bat, this is a good vice. I think for the price, this is a good vice. You can tell it's made beefy. It is very uh, beefy. There's just no way, I mean, I could like hang on this thing here uh, with my full body weight and I don't think it's gonna break. The rotary feature is pretty good. Uh, the, the jaws are decent. You know, they definitely hold uh, flies. There's a lot of decent things about this uh, vice. I like this type of, uh, you know, you can screw here and then clamp down so you've got smaller unscrew it a little bit and then use for larger flies um, you can really make that good for super large but there are a few things that bug me about this vise okay so I'm gonna go over that first and then I'll tell you all the things that I think are definite positives so the things that bug me there's a few things one is the jaws um, they're good jaws, they're decent jaws, and that is the most important part of the vise. But, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see from there, but there's two grooves in here. The problem is those grooves are straight. There's no curve to them, there's no angle. Uh, they are straight down through to the bottom, um, and there's just no angle on that. So, while that's not a major issue, what it does is, if you've got a larger hook, so this is a one aught right here, okay? Now, you could just put it right here and then really tighten it down, but you have the ability, you know, it's going to slip around, okay, like any other vise. That's what the grooves are for. So you kind of, you know, get it where it's barely touching and then you can find that groove, and that's the top groove. And that holds it pretty good, but you can tell there's a little bit of slippage, and that's because that's not a curved, doesn't go in with the bend of the hook. Uh, but then again, we're sitting pretty high here, and, you know, there's not a whole lot of holding power there, so then you step down to the larger one, there's a secondary groove. Problem is trying to find that, so I've, I'm in that, and actually, first time, but you can tell I've got an angle downward, so if I want to adjust that, a little and I want it more straight well okay now it's doing it uh, but again you know it does take a little playing around with it you know um, I've used this vice for quite a while now and there's times where I literally have to adjust this four or five times six times to be able to get it just right and that's a pain in the butt plus those two grooves that's just too deep for one knot and I think that's too shallow uh, you really kind of need I think the grooves are just, they're not in the right spot. That straightness makes it a little difficult with different size hooks. Then when you get really tiny flies, you can tell this is rounded. There's no point to it. It's quite rounded. It's not super rounded, but, so it's hard to tell from there, but the tips don't perfectly align. There's a little bit of a roughness there, but not going this way. So this one is a little shorter than the other. Whether that's like that on all of them, I don't know, maybe I got a bad one, but even so, if we're talking a company that wants to make a vise, they, all of them that ship out should be good. And you can tell on this side there's a little bit, if you feel it, there's just, you feel that there, uh, sticking up a little higher. Also, it's really tough for really tiny hooks. So I fish, as you guys know, the San Juan River quite often. And we're tying tiny flies. We're, si we're talking size 24, 26, sometimes 28, or even 30, okay? Just really tiny little flies uh, for these midges. I mean, these midges are, you almost can't see them. 
but the fish are feeding on them and uh, I tie some flies that are super tiny and this being rounded and not come to a point uh, you know ends up uh, making it a little more difficult to be able to hold those tiny flies um, I find also the very tip of the the vise doesn't have as much holding power as a little further down so there's a little gap very slight but a little gap there and when we're talking flies that are you know the wire is almost like you know human hair size um, that makes a difference so those are you know but if you're not tying anything larger than I would say size one hook or any smaller than size maybe 22 then these these jaws are great they, they do fine on all those sizes uh, I think there's one in between that is a little funky that I find um, that doesn't really align as well as I'd like in that um, and it might just be the bend of the hook and whatnot uh, but I find that it doesn't line up perfectly um, and occasionally I'll have some slippage and I'll be tying a fly and it'll, it'll move uh, so that is annoying so the vi you know the jaws are good but they're not perfect now granted for a hundred and fifty dollar vise this is you know for a full rotary hundred and fifty dollar vise uh, I guess you really can't complain because you know after a little playing with it I do get I can get the hook in there properly and seated properly it just might take a little playing with okay the second thing is the that bugs me is the actual rotary feature this is somewhat smooth but there's a hitch right there and I feel it and then if I'm going this way right here it just gets loose and it wants to drop so if I'm pushing I just you know now that I've played with it a lot I kinda know when to put the pressure and when not to actually rotate it but if I'm doing constant pressure you can see where I'm getting it it hangs up there then drops quick here and gets tight and then moves quicker um, and that's all adjusted with here now this I can loosen that up and now I've got a super you know it kind of moves on its own that's too loose you know with my fingers that's about as tight as I can get it and it drops so you almost have to have pliers to be able to really tighten this down super tight to where it's not going to do that and I almost got it there you can kind of do it with your fingers it just takes a lot of pressure I really wish that there was some kind of like right here something to grab onto rather than this this once your fingers want to slip okay that's what I'd like to see to be able to get that tighter but even so if you do get it super tight now it's you know it's got some pressure and through here it's like I gotta I mean you got almost like sometimes I feel like the vice is gonna move while I'm you know turning it but then here it's like I barely touch it and it wants to go and so and then same thing when you're going this way there's tension coming this way and then it just wants to drop so just the way that it is it's just not as smooth as I want now there's ways of playing with it like with this this will actually lock that and keep it from turning okay so if you're tying something you need this to lock you can tighten that on that's not going to move um, and then you can continue tying wherever you want to be at um, but some people say play with this and then loosen this a little bit and then you get a little more smooth but really in reality that's kind of a pain in the butt um, just not really what I like to see okay um, this also just all the time I'm this is popping off okay and I'll be like tying something where I do a lot of rotations and it just wants to untwist on me and then I'll have this where it's loose pretty soon after like two or three flies of doing a lot of rotations and then occasionally it'll just slip right off and then I'm like trying to hold stuff or whatever and that come that happens it's a pain in the butt um, that that annoys me now there are ways I'm sure to fix that I could probably get some like some of that white stuff that uh, um, plumbers use I forgot what they call it but um, put it around those wraps and that might actually lock that in because I don't see any reason for that um, to ever want to take that off so you know maybe put a dot of super glue and twist that in there and make sure it doesn't move this is also another thing that bugs me is the material clip this material clip 
it does not want to stay in, in place. You've got a little spot here, and that's it for keeping it. It's almost useless right here because it angles forward. Um, you can't bring it back any further than right there. And sometimes I got long material and I just need to kind of bring it back here. Um, sometimes I've got shorter material I want to get out of the way. But right here you got to bend it downward. Um, just something about it bugs me. Um, I've seen some other vices with uh, it kind of done differently that I like better. Uh, but that's just kind of what it is. So this also has a, an adjustment here to allow this to go up and down, which is nice. However, that is not useful for me anymore. If you notice, I'm missing this right here. Um, uh, the little uh, um, finger grasper thing. That broke off, and I'll tell you why. I messed up. So I made a mistake, and I almost actually completely lost the vise. I almost lost the ability to tighten and, and loosen um, the, the jaws here. As you can see, this is a little shiny right here. I was using some uh, super glue. I was actually putting a dumbbell eye on top of a fly and I was dropping a drop of super glue, but it got stuck and I, like an idiot, put a little more pressure and then it shot out. A whole bunch of it and it dripped all down here. Ruined a whole spool of thread because um, it dripped onto the spool of thread. It was done. So it dripped all down through here and it got into the, the threads of this screw here. Um, got into the jaws, got in through here, and basically it took a little pressure, and I finally, these are strong jaws, so that's a good thing, that's a positive thing. This is all very well built and strong, but I was able to get enough pressure to pop those jaws out and then use it, and that's actually now quite smooth after quite a bit of playing with it. I oiled it a little bit, it's good. No matter what I did with this though, I could not get this to budge. And I was using my fingers, I couldn't get that this one to rotate like this. Um, then I grabbed some pliers and I just yanked on it real hard and this plastic part literally just popped off. And then I tried with, with pliers, needle nose, and uh, all different kinds of pliers. I tried everything to twist this and it just won't twist. So now I've lost the ability for this to go up and down. But that's not on the vise, that's on me, I put super glue on it. However, when I did have the ability to move this up and down, it was a pretty decent measurement. It was a little tough to get it exact. Um, sometimes it would want to slip up quicker or down quicker. Um, and it was really kind of, I would say, tough to make it perfect to where the, the hook shank wouldn't move. However, um, it was pretty good. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. And with a little playing, I could actually get that pretty even. Okay, um, so that's, you know, overall, that, this whole section, the mechanics of it, it all works properly, it's good, not perfect, but quality, it's, it's done well. Another great thing I would say that I like about the, the vise is the base. Look at how wide this is. I would like to see it maybe a little longer, but that's not as important as the width. You know, if you're doing like deer hair flies and you're putting a lot of pressure on this, maybe pull this way or doing some tight wraps. Sometimes some vices want to lift up and do this. Uh, this one doesn't really do that unless you try to. I mean, I can push it with my finger, but this is a big, heavy base, and uh, it does keep it on the gr on the table pretty well. Um, I'd like to see it maybe a little thicker, a little more weight, and then it really wouldn't move, but overall, that's pretty good. Um, it does sit high enough. I like the height of this. Um, you know, I'm really, you know, sometimes I've got the, if I'm doing like a dubbing loop, um, I need a little extra length to be able to spin that, right? Spin the dubbing loop, and uh, this kind of allows you to do that. Maybe not right on, on the bottom here, but, you know, if you lift up a little bit, you've still got room to be able to do all that and, and play. So this is, uh, this is good. I will say though, if I'm tying something and I need to tie something on the top, for instance, one of my uh, one of the flies that I have a lot of trouble with this vise on is a crazy Charlie. And so you're tying the crazy Charlie um, like this, and then you've got to actually add either you got to turn that fly upside down, which the angle of the jaws doesn't allow for that because it gets into the hook wrap that you have, or um, and if you've ever tied those, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then just take my judgment on this. Um, it's tough to do that. 
or you turn the vise upside down like that and then start tying. The problem is the angle of this being almost, you know, it's, it's not angled out like this. So you don't have a lot of room here to hold materials and whatnot. You know, I'm finding myself kind of move. It's just kind of in the way uh, when I'm doing that. As you can see here, you can see how that is. I mean, you almost have to rest your hand there and then try to get it up in here. And if you've got a short, like a bonefish fly there, they're size six hook, they're, uh, they're small. That's what I tie them in. And, you know, and I'm trying to get that material in there and have room around my fingers. It just is really tough. If this was angled out a little more, um, that would really help. That is one thing that bugs me too, okay? Um, but again, overall, this is great. One of the things that I had problems with was the plastic that I said, you know, okay, these, these here are plastic, um, originally. I don't mind it. I, that's something that does not bug me. Of course, it bugged me on this because it broke. If that was all metal, I guess that wouldn't have broken. Um, but that's really hard to machine and probably would have jumped the price of the fly, uh, the vice up quite a bit. And also this is, uh. A little more comfortable than uh, than metal, so I see why they do that. And as long as you don't put glue, like an idiot like me, on it, um, <laughs> then you're good to go. It's really not a big deal. But overall, I will tell you that if you want to spend $150 and you're tying hooks, uh, you know, pretty much from size one, um, you can get away with one knot. You really can. But um, size one is a good measurement. One to about maybe uh, you know 20 or 22 uh, you'll probably be okay with this vice and you'll like it there's a lot of great things about it it's a good vice for the money the jaw it's solid the jaws hold tight and are beefy uh, for larger hooks um, I really do like this for some of the uh, trout streamers that I tie it does really well but overall I think you'd be really happy if you got this vise if that's what you're tying now if you plan on tying a bunch of tiny little midges you know there's some other vices I think that are better out there for that if you're tying a bunch of big saltwater flies uh, this could do it it would be fine it just takes a little playing to be able to get that you know hook bend in there properly if you have like a Dyna King that I think that the uh, that would be better for larger hooks um, but this does still pretty good uh, for those larger saltwater sized, you know, really thick um, wire hooks. But generally, for most of the stuff that most people are tying, this does fine. A size 18 hook, this holds perfectly. It's great. Um, size 16, 14, you know, all great. Does wonderful. It just kind of annoys me with some of the smaller hooks. But if that's what you're tying, and you don't want to go, you want a full rotary, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, um, you know, that's the range for you, then this is a great vice. It seems like it will last forever. I've used it for now a year, and I tie quite a bit with the channel. I mean, literally, I beat my vices up, as you can see. Um, I'm using epoxies, I'm using glues, I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff with my vice, and it's always held up fine. There's never been any major issue with it, nothing to break, nothing whatnot except for something that I've done to really screw up with it like that, okay? But overall, it's great. However, I would still would rather have maybe a, you know, a Renzetti or a Dyna King or, you know, some of these uh, higher-end vices. But for a full rotary on a Dyna King, you're going to be spending, I think the cheapest is $275, but it's good. It's better, but it, it's a lot, it's more than, it's about double the price. If you just don't want to go 200 plus, this is what it would be, I think, the best vice out there for the 150 range. Check the description section for where you can buy this vice if you are interested and want to get it. It is a good vice, minus the little problems that it does have. Um, those are minute, uh, just little things that bug me. Uh, but if you do want to buy it and you do want a quality vice, uh, this would be it. And you can purchase it. I've got a link down in the description section for it to uh, Amazon. Uh, where if you hate it, if you end up getting it, you don't like it, I think Amazon gives you like 30 days to return it. Full money back, no questions asked. Um, Amazon's good about that. Um, it comes from Amazon, not the actual dealer that is selling it to you. So um, it's not good for the dealer to return it. So try not to if you, if you do like it. 
Uh, but if you don't, it gives you that peace of mind. So that's why I'm going to post uh, Amazon on there. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, buy it if you like, the, um, if this is kind of the thing that you're looking for. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.